Pass up for Karesovic. He has it, and he wants to try to give it the shot. Satala, last chance. He passes it up, but it's the Demons with it. Karesovic. Now the shot, shot scores! Lucas shot. How about Lucas shot? He had a couple goals last night. He's got his 15th on the season, the first on the game for the Demons, and New York leads two to one. Lysko and Kaneki with the goals for New York and the lone Demon goal so far. Give it up to number 10 forward for the Dayton Demons. Lucas shot with number 15. Jumps up, picked up by Karasevich. There's a twist, Mafus gets in the face. Looks like we might have a, Mafus goes after it. Mafus with a quick right-hander, taking down Hassler, and Mafus makes easy work of Chris Hassler. But Ahmed Mafus isn't done yet, folks. But the stripes say he is Ahmed Mafus. You anger the foos, you get the fists. Fear the beard, fear the number 19 as he takes Chris Hassler down in about a span of six seconds. We got hockey, we got hockey gloves moving towards the sim bin. Both Hassler and Mafu's in the box for five. That's the first fight we've seen of this series and that has electrified this hometown crowd. 6.19 left to go in our first period. New York two, Dayton one. The momentum might be shifting over towards the white jerseys as Mafus just made quick work of Chris Hassler. Had it once in New York's defending zone. Ronsberg looks to change that. Ronsberg breaks free. Nice save by Payne. And we have delayed whistles. The net gets dislodged. We have a gathering of heads. Fans getting a little angry, but it looks like it will be a save by Matt Payne. And what is this? That's a goal? Yes, that's a goal. Payne says, nah, -uh. no it's not. But the PA announcer, the Dayton Demon players, say it is. Alex Redman hears out G uh, Guy Bradshaw as one of the linesmen repairs the net. It's magnetic. We had a delay in the whistles. Honestly didn't know where that puck went. We'll have a face off in center ice. Looks like we got a tie game at two. We'll have to see who is credited with that goal because there was like out there five. And all alone, can Petriello put it in? Yes, he can. Dayton leads for the first time tonight. Three to two. Nicholas Petriello. Goal number 14 on the night. On the season, rather. His first goal on the night and the third by the Demons. Three to two, Dayton. 14-51 left to go in our second period. That's the 11th shot on goal by the Dayton Demons. They're being outshot by four from the New York Bluefins. Is Wiley passing it up? Fleet check on the chase. He's got it. Fleet check now trying to dump it in front of Payne. Puck is loose. And it's Wiley. A good shove. Keeps the puck for Dayton. He'll roll towards the near side. Zatala will take his place in Dayton's attacking zone. There's Fleet check. Shot. Pounces off Payne. Second chance for Jason Hill. Put it in. Jason Hill with the third goal in the second period for the Dayton Demons. He gives the squad a 42 lead. For Jason Hill, that is goal number 29 on the season. Dayton four, New York two, 539 left to go in our second period.
Up past the final blue line, there's Petriello! Second goal of the night for Petriello! And another assist for Ahmed Mafu's pain. Knocks the puck far, far away from everyone. And Dayton leads five to two. Nick Petriello, a goal away from a hat trick. Petriello with two tonight, that's 15 on the season. Dayton leads by three. 2.31 left to go in the second period and the Demons fans enjoying this four goal second period that the Demons have put up against Payne and the New York Blue Fins. Face off. Far side, won by the Demons. 16 seconds left in the power play. New York 0 for three. Dayton looks to avoid going 0 for one on the power play. 10 seconds left. It's dished back out for Wiley. Wiley now over to Watt. Watt, in it goes! Six to two, Dayton Watt. Dumps it in a swirly over Payne's head, his left shoulder, and with three seconds left to go, it's a power play goal for the Dayton Demons. Six to two, Dayton. It's Redmond, passes it up, it's intercepted by Petriello, tries to pull the trigger, and Petriello's got a hat trick! Nicholas Petriello with his third goal on the night. Seven to two, Dayton. Where are my hats? There are my hats. We have the red fuzzy one going back. We have a hat, we have another hat, we got a beanie hat, we have a helmet. There are the hats start to fly. And the Zaleski hand it back. Couple hats fly on the ice. Nick Patriello, two goals in the second period, one goal in the third. He's got three tonight. Give him a hat trick. More. Stolen away by New York. There's Zaleski. And it's stolen away. Trevor Karasovic. Goal! His second one in the Dayton Demons top. And it's now eight to two, Dayton. On the season, that would be goal number 18 to go along with his 72 plus assists he's got on the season. Welcome to Dayton, welcome to Montgomery County, welcome to Hare Arena, where you're wearing a Dayton Demons jersey, Trevor Karasowicz. 3.14 left to go. It'll be a neutral zone face off. And it's chipped away, New York's got it. 3.10 now left, it's an interception. There is Metz, oh it bounces out, but there's a goal! for Luke Fleetcheck. Second chance goal for Fleetcheck. He gets his first on the night. And it's now nine to two, Dayton Demons. If that is Luke Fleetcheck's goal, that would be his 33rd on the season. That leads the team the most. York will lose their 15th straight in a row right at Payne and the clock continues to roll he'll toss it out that's the game your final score tonight the Dayton Demons nine and the New York Blue Fins two another win for the Dayton Demons they have 30 overall 27 in 60 minutes three past that Again, six losses, three of those after 60 minutes. 30th victory on the season for this team and franchise in their inaugural 2012-2013 season. They'll shake some hands of some bluefins. And we will have stats, possibly scores, and stars of the game after we take a breather We'll come back with a post-game show, folks. You are listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network.
Here with the coaches, Mark Lefebvre. The Dayton Demons knock off the New York Bluefins by a score of 10 to 2. How uh, how you doing tonight, coach? Uh, better now that we won. So it's uh, you know it's been a bit of a long day, long, long week with everything that's been going on, but uh, you know come on with a victory. It's uh, you know makes the day a lot easier. What did you think of the uh, 60 minutes of hockey that the Dayton Demons uh, played on the ice? Uh, it's tough, you know. You play those games, uh, those teams. It's, it's a frustrating game sometimes because you never know what to expect, and you know they're they're really playing for nothing, and you know it's uh, they're a tough team to play because you don't know what you know what they're to, what to expect. Um, but you know we, we showed a lot of poise tonight. We I didn't think we got off to a very good start in the first 10 minutes. Um, but, you know we had some new players on the lineup. Um, you know. Brady Metz hasn't been here uh, in a while. He's been up at Fort Wayne and you know, Karaswich and, and Reese will join the lineup today. They haven't even practiced it. They just got in the town today. So um, I think they did a pretty good job. Speaking of the uh, new players, what did you think of uh, the uh, two former outlaws on the team? Well, I mean, Karaswich is the top scorer in the league for a reason. You saw that tonight. You know, he's a hell of a playmaker. He can skate well. Uh, you know, I thought Timmy Reese showed a good job on the back end there for us tonight. Uh, adds a little bit of depth to our blue line. You know, we don't have a lot of blue, uh, blue line depth back there. So. I thought the overall I was pretty pleased with their games because they haven't even practiced with us yet. Uh, I thought they did a pretty good job. And how about the uh, goal end of it? Um, Aaron Barton uh, only allowed two goals, one in each uh, first and second period. What did you think of his 60 minutes? Um, you know, letting, you know, first goal uh, on the first shot of the game. That uh, you know, that uh, kind of sets back a little bit. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit shaky. But, uh, you know, overall I was pretty happy with his game. He didn't get a lot of work, but, you know, when he did, he stepped up to the plate. Coach, the Dayton Demons will take on the New York Blue Fins tomorrow night at 7:35. Uh, any new preparation for this squad for tomorrow? No, we, you know, we'll have the same lineup. Uh, I think, anyways, unless we get somebody guys back from Fort Wayne, but uh, you know, I expect the same tomorrow night. Coach Danville is coming in Tuesday. I won't do any more of the jokes of saying we never faced this team before, although I kind of just did. Um, What's the preparation for Tuesday going to be? What's Sunday, Monday going to consist of? Well, tomorrow's going to be a day off. Um, you know, guys, some guys are banged up. They're going to, you know, we've played two nights in a row. So, you know, some guys need some rest. But we'll be back to work on Monday, get ready for them. They, they've been playing well, Danville. They're one of the higher teams in the league right now. They're creeping up in the standings. Uh, we may end up playing them in the first round of the playoffs or in the finals. You never know that. Um, we got to be ready. They always come ready to play us. We've had a lot of success against them, but it's going to be a full 60-minute game. Over 1,700 people in the seats tonight. It was another nice crowd this weekend. Uh, fantastic atmosphere. It's great. It's getting better every game. Uh, the more the word gets out, the more the better we play. Uh, I think for being first place really helps. It's exciting hockey. You know, we got an exciting hockey team here. Uh, a lot of goals, a few fights, a lot of hits. Uh, it's an open style hockey our league, and I think the fans enjoy it. They especially, I think they're enjoying a winner for once here in Dayton. That was Mark LaFay, the coach of the Dayton Demons. As always, thanks for your time, all right? Appreciate it. Thank you. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network.